Hello everybody and welcome to my in-depth goalkeeper tutorial for EAFC 24. Today we're going to be going over everything you need to know to become the best goalkeeper you can be. Starting off, what game modes can you play as a goalkeeper? Sadly there's only like two which is pro clubs, obviously make your own pro playing goal, and player career where you can play as your own custom pro or you can play as an already established goalkeeper. When you want to start a new career as a goalkeeper, go into player career, you can either create a new player right there or select one from already established goalkeepers. When you get to this screen, make sure Onana or any goalkeeper you want is ticked, then go to advance and there you go, you've started your official goalkeeper career. Now I just want to go over some basic movement for the goalkeeper. Left analog stick will move your goalkeeper around like any other player on the pitch. Left bumper will actually auto position your goalkeeper. Normally you have a little indicator on the floor but I remove it because I think it looks better without it. It still works exactly the same with or without the indicator. One thing to say about the auto position, I think it feels a little bit janky in this game for some reason. It doesn't feel like it puts you in the right position all the time. So my personal advice would be try not relying on it too much. Use it to get into position but then take over with the left analog stick to make those little micro adjustments so you're in the right position all the time. You can see in this clip here that I do tap it quite a lot to move across but then I do eventually take over with the left analog stick to cover my near post properly. Now we move on to probably the most important control as a goalkeeper and that is how to save the ball and that is all down to the right analog stick. Basically you just push it in the direction the ball is going. I have tested out between flicking and pushing I'm pretty sure they do exactly the same thing. Flicking is a little bit more easier for you to do so you don't have to push it direction. Also sometimes you can push the stick in the opposite direction the ball is travelling and you still will make a save as long as your goalkeeper is in the vicinity of the ball. So even if you're just trying to predict which way the ball is going, as long as you flip the stick in a direction, you've got a good chance of making a save. Another really important control is going to be the Y button. You can see here, whenever the corner is whipped in, I just hold Y, the goalkeeper will come out and grab the ball. It also counts as charging out as well. So if a player is one on one of you, you can charge out to close down the angle, which is how I use it in this clip right here. You can see Spurs get the ball right at the in near post. I charge out to close down the angle, obviously spinning shot, but I am able to make the save with a foot. It doesn't always work how you think it's going to work. You can see here the Wolf player walking towards the box. I charge out to close down the angle. He still manages to sneak the ball underneath my armpit into the back of the net. Here as well, Arsenal have the ball on the edge of the box. I'm waiting for that through ball from the man on the right side there. We actually intercept it. They pass it back to me, but I'm already holding Y pass the ball directly into an Arsenal player's path, he scores a goal. Now let's talk about goalkeeper distribution. If you're holding the ball in your hands, if you tap Y, he will drop the ball to his feet. You can pass it out anyway like a normal player. Once again, while holding the ball, if you tap A, it's a little pass. If you hold A, you can throw it further. RB, A will be a driven throw. X tapped will be a lofted kick. X held will be a longer kick. RB, X will be a driven kick. One question I always get asked is how I move the camera up the pitch. On Xbox, it's what I would call the back button, or in the center of the control, the left side button with the two square boxes on it. That is how you do it. You push that once, it follows the camera up the pitch. Push it again, it'll drag it back to the goalkeeper. While we're talking about the camera, I always use the pro camera angle. I feel like it's the best suited when you're playing as the goalkeeper. It's just above the goal and you can see a lot of the pitch. And for this year, it seems to have been fixed for the player career. The last few years, the camera's been absolutely dreadful, moving all over the place. But this year, it seems to be a lot more stationary and you can see a whole lot more of the pitch. Apart from when you follow the ball up the pitch, especially from corners, it doesn't even show you what's happening in the penalty box. The angle is a little bit worse as well, so they've gone forward in one way and back in another way. So it's a little bit disappointing for me, who makes a goalkeeper career, to see the ball and watch the ball around the pitch. But being an actual goalkeeper, it's a whole load better. Another thing a lot of people probably don't know about, you can see on the screen now, the buttons underneath the players is how you can interact with the player itself. So if you see a button underneath the player, if you push that button, the player on the ball will pass to that player. I don't think it works out too well in this game, it's very delayed, I think you can make the player shoot as well but when I tried it, it didn't actually shoot so I'm not too sure if the AI just takes over and does what it thinks is best, but you can actually pass the ball around like you're playing the game, it just doesn't work out too well. Now onto the final few points I have is for being a goalkeeper. He will pick up the ball automatically as long as it comes off an opposition player so you don't have to push anything, the goalkeeper will automatically grab the ball. Another thing, in this year, the goalkeeper rating is absolutely ruthless. You can build your rating quite high if you make saves, but if you do concede some goals, it will plummet down to the four. I conceded that one goal, it shot all the way down to four. And if you concede a few more, don't be surprised if you get subbed off in the 50th, 60th minute. It's absolutely ruthless. The managers have taken no stick from anyone, apparently. They've made it a little bit more difficult, but they've also made it a little bit more lenient with the rating style. One thing I almost forgot, you cannot actually call for the ball as a goalkeeper inside the box. But as soon as you step out for the box, you can call for the ball and they will pass it to you as long as they're in like a range. You can see here, I pass the ball out, get 
outside the box, then I can finally call for the ball, they do pass it to me. But in the box, you can't call for it, but it will pass to you randomly, like if they definitely need to, but a lot of the time they'll just avoid you completely. And I think that is it. That is all you need to know on how to become a goalkeeper in EAFC 24. If you have any questions, do not be afraid to ask. I will do my best to answer all of them. And if you did find this tutorial helpful, make sure you leave a like on the video, subscribe if you're new, and turn notifications on so you do not miss a thing. And as always, look after yourself, stay safe, and I will speak to you next time. Goodbye.